We are in the Global Ultrasound Probes facility in Phoenix, Arizona. We build ultrasound probes that plug into an ultrasound console. We also build the transducers that get built into those probes. The ultrasound probe is what's actually making that image for you. It's what's sending that sound wave out and back to create that image on screen. The ultrasound probe site in Phoenix was actually the first site to implement PPO across any of the GE healthcare sites. Today, we're looking at exactly where we're at current weeks. PPO is a manufacturing data tool, so it, it gives me real-time data, so it lets me look at what our output was, what our yield was, and what our whip is or work in progress. We're dealing in the medical field, so everything needs to be really high quality. Someone's life could depend on it. The manufacturing process complexity is very, very challenging, and we're talking about working on micron scales for us to be successful. The manufacturing process of a transducer really starts at lamination, where we are applying the individual layers to build the acoustic stack. You move that into a dicing operation. After that, we go through a bending and bonding phase, a nose piece install, lensing operation. We will assemble that transducer into a probe, and that will then become your finished medical device. We're ultimately really proud of the product that we make here, and everyone wants to do better each day, but do you necessarily have the data to be able to make the decisions to execute the different projects? Before PPO was in place in the shop, a lot of things were done manually here. So whether it was on whiteboards or on Excel spreadsheets, and it took a lot of people effort to get the data. Previously, we would have probably the first three hours a day just trying to collect data to make determination on where we want to go. One of the big challenges on the site was to get data out and get the data fast. The data existed, but to get it in the format and analyze it to make a data-driven decision, that was very difficult. Is there a benefit? Yes. It's a tool that we're using to get us to make decisions faster. It's really advanced us, I think, from an efficiency standpoint. For example, our Tier 2 Gemba walks used to take you know, about an hour or so to get through. Um, because we can get some of that data more quickly, uh, they're shortened now. We're really actually diving into the important details rather than the number of failures. What are they failing for? It allows me to take a quick snapshot of how uh, the site's running throughout the day. I don't have to go data mining on stuff that I used to. I don't have to tie up a resource. I can always have feels of what's not going right on the plant, but for me to be able to put together the right business case, for me to be able to understand the impact to my customers, to the business, um, that's what this tool does for me every day. It's really just being able to have data drive your decisions. 